What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Savatech once again, and today we have Intel releasing all the threads, and to put the icing on the top there, they are releasing all the threads at an amazing core clock, so stick around. Alrighty, so we are looking at the new workstation processors for Intel. They were just announced and they are going to have 18 cores and a whopping 36 threads. And all of these at the top end will boost up to 4.5 gigahertz. Now, of course, these aren't going to be unlocked, but this is pretty impressive to say the least. This will also support dual socket motherboards for dual socket workstations. So this will be a line in which you will be able to get a pretty amazing amount of cores and threads here right out of the box for your workstation. To top it all off, it's gonna support 48 PCIe lanes, which is good, awesome. We already seen this on Skylake X. And it's going to be socket 2066. So if you guys already have an X299 motherboard, you could theoretically plop this in at least with a BIOS update. Now that being said, you already have these in some sort of enthusiastic form and you'd be able to overclock those a little bit better. The lineup entry price starts at $294 and that's for a four core eight thread and that will still allow you to get all the PCIe lanes and for $294 that's really not that bad. So finally a budget option for some of you guys that are running X299 is while on the enthusiast platform you do have a quad core 8 thread in the 7740X realm and it does still run around 350 bucks. If you are wanting to use that and transfer that into more PCIe lanes for a workstation purpose, let's say you're not gaming near as much, you will have the option of plopping in one of the Xeon procs and going ahead and unlocking all 48 PCIe lanes on that X299 chipset. To me, that's the most notable thing just because there are a lot of applications which you might want to use that in. One of them that I can think of, and you guys are going to hate me for this, but would be mining. While you wouldn't really want to spend that much on a proc normally for mining, having 48 PCIe lanes provided the motherboard has a ton of PCI sockets and you can convert all your M.2s means you could run a metric butt ton of graphics cards off of a single motherboard. Unfortunately at the top end, the 18 core 36 thread proc, we do not have a price yet, but the highest priced proc, which is going to be the W2155, is going to be clocking at 4.5 gigahertz still with 10 cores and 20 threads. And this is going to run you a cool $1,440, which is pretty high and pretty up there, but that's what you're looking at. And if you want to bump down but stay at 4.5 gigahertz, there is going to be a 6 core 12 thread proc and that will overclock to 4.5 gigahertz or sorry that will turbo up to 4.5 gigahertz and that's going to run you 635 dollars now with the recent announcement and leaks for coffee lake getting a six core 12 thread proc if that's all you're looking for you're going to be able to pick that up on the consumer line here shortly that being said the difference here is going to be the amount of lanes you're able to run for your PCIe devices. So if that's something that's important to you, this is the platform you're gonna to wanna to take a look at. Now, as far as the Threadripper line goes, this is going to be a relevant topic there. The only notable thing that I would bring up is that the Threadripper line does not have a $244 option that unlocks that this amount of PCIe lanes, which is a big deal. And two, Threadripper certainly at this point doesn't offer any dual socket motherboards. So this is a kind of, kind of different class than what Threadripper goes up against. X399 and X299 are what you're looking for there. If you're looking for as many PCIe lanes as you can get with ECC supported memory and dual sockets, this is the way to go, at least until AMD rebottles with hopefully more cores, more threads. Fuck yeah, this is getting so exciting. So many cores, so many threads, clock speeds at four and a half gigahertz on a Xeon workstation CPU. 
I, it doesn't get any better than this, guys. This year's going to be pretty amazing. 2018, come 2018, we're going to see some pretty epic stuff. And I do have to say that's all thanks to AMD finally being back in the CPU game. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And as always, I will see you next Tuesday.